yet another day where I am stuck behind the shittiest fucking drivers on the planet. You know, it's not always like this. This morning when I was driving into work, I was, um, I was next to, I was behind this, I think it was a Mustang. I forget what kind of car it was. I was behind a car and this car was like going, like I could see that whoever was driving this car was like a decent driver. Like they were going when the light was green and like, holy shit, that bus is losing it. Look at all that smoke. Can you see all that smoke from the bus? Anyway, oh, that reminds me, I need to get a smog check. Do you know what to do? Like, anyways, okay, that's, that's another video. Okay, so I was behind this, I was behind this one car and so then we get to this one spot where it becomes like two lanes. So I pull next to the car because the car, so it was, there was a car, then there was the car, and then there was me. And so the car in the very, very front was like some old person and they had like the little handy capable like accessibility, like the little blue icon on their license plate. So I, you know, immediately the second that I saw that, I was like, well, can't be behind them at this light. So like the light that I was at was two lanes that after you go at the light, it merges into one lane, those two lanes. So you've got like 50 feet of like a turn of a merging lane where you can pass people. It doesn't, there are, it's brand new. It's brand new and they have not put up any signs that say do not pass yet. So... So, because of that, it's technically still fine to like, you know, go neom and pass the people at the light. Anyways, so that's what I do. And the car behind, the car that I was uh, behind was now behind me because they decided to go behind me. They saw the path that I took and unfortunately they didn't have enough space to get out of the lane before I had gotten into that, that extra lane. Long story short, that person was behind, they weren't riding my ass because they, like, we were driving the same, like, we were the same person on the road, we were driving in tandem, like, I was going, I would put my foot on the gas, and they would put their foot on the gas, and it was this beautiful thing, where, like, we rode together, we drove together for, like, maybe two miles, and it's, like, it felt like a partnership, like, I felt like I was with a buddy on the road, and it's, like, that's what you gotta do, people, you gotta, you gotta drive correct. Of course, still, no, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, you know, there gotta be more experiences like that. It shouldn't always be you're stuck behind the shittiest fucking drivers who don't know how to fucking turn at a fucking green light or go at a fucking green light. It's crazy. It's crazy. I love San Diego, but San Diego has some stupid fucking drivers. I will admit that. San Diego has some stupid fucking drivers. Like this bitch that's about to try to pass me in front. Fuck you, you little van. I gotta stop recording now. Okay. Point is, I'm not always upset on the road. Sometimes there are people that drive with purpose. And when they, when we, when our, when our roads line up, when our paths align, it can be so beautiful because like we encourage each other you know I don't know I don't know I don't know anybody else feel that way sometimes like you know you you come across someone and you're like ah you are my brother in driving you are my brother or my sister in driving we drive the same let's let's go as far as we can go let's see how far this takes us and then your paths never cross again that's the beauty and the magic of the road I think it's the beauty of the highway. It's the beauty of the streets. You never know. You never know. Especially if you're not in a small town. I grew up in a small town. I was born and raised in a small town, so it's like there's a good chance that you know everybody. But now because it's Southern California, there's a lot of tourists that go to the town, so it doesn't really matter anymore. But you never know. <laughs>